pineapple. So today we have some new makeup that I'm going to be playing with. And also I really want to have a concentration on complexion today. I feel like some days I've been really wanting to be more full coverage or actually take that extra step to cover up these dark circles. I feel like the camera is not making them look as bad as they are, but in person, um, I definitely see them. I already did an eye mask and then I also want to concentrate on just some hyperpigmentation here So we're gonna do a little bit of conceal and correct and play around But yeah, I have a lot of good products and I feel like a lot of good products for spring and summer because they're more on the light side Milk makeup hydro grip because I am actually going to be using a new product from Laura Mercier And this is the tinted moisturizer light revealer. I feel like tinted moisturizers are something that can just fade away right away um, and yeah so I just want something that's gonna really grip onto it this is really nice and tacky um, I did already do my skincare I have some really nice plumping um, hyaluronic serum on and also a moisturizer from glow recipe Whew, this stuff is nice and tacky and I just feel like it's going to help just grip onto that moisturizer because like I said I want to put it on but I don't want it to fade away like bye so I've never shown these two brushes personally on my channel this is the 40 HD precision from Sigma and then also I believe this is a bake one yes bake precision p89 even though this is a bake for underneath the eyes brushes are multitask so I really want to use this underneath the eyes to help correct and what I'm going to be using today is a makeup forever palette th that they came out with so I know that this is going to have so many different shades for me so so there are shades to correct, to conceal, to blushes. This is also a highlight. These can also help contour. So you can do a mix and match of whatever you need to do. Also people who have more pigmented darkness around their area, maybe around their mouth or their face, you can still use these tones because I know a lot of people use orange deep orange correctors instead of peach in order to combat that. So this palette literally has everything you need. So let's get into it. So for underneath my eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of this peach shade. I think I'm just gonna use the bake brush just because it is in the shape of the under eye and I'm just gonna start placing that little by little. I don't wanna add too much product because again, more layers equals more chance of creasing and also looking cakey. So I'm just gonna work little by little and slowly add this product. I'm not someone where I get nitty gritty like, oh, I have hyperpigmentation here, I have a friend here, oh, it's too dark here, here's shadows. But lately, I've been looking at my face, I'm like, oh, I kinda wanna like work on this too. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I find that the makeup that I do is great for everybody. It's very easy, it's great for every day, nothing has been too hard in technique. I'm more of like a go-to, person for everyday glam, uh, easy products for the everyday person, not necessarily artistry. Um, I did do that look with the purple and the pink, but even that, that kind of level of cut crease and all that can definitely be done by anybody just through practice. That's why I wanted to concentrate on complexion in case any of you are wondering about it so that you can correct any problems as well. Look, I barely put any and look how much brighter I look. So... That is amazing, and it's honestly not too peach. Like once you blend it out, it just looks really nice and bright. So if you have personally ever put a concealer and say all of a sudden you blend it out and you look at it, you're like, why do I look gray? It's because those dark hues are popping out from underneath. Now I do know people have different hues as well. Some may have more purple, some areas may have maybe slight tints of yellow or green or red pulling through. Everybody has different hues within, or tones, hues, you know, within their face. I'm someone where I always feel like the warmth of your fingers always end up being the best tool just to help blend that product and push it in. But it honestly feels like I have nothing on. And just look at that. It's like I got 15 hours of sleep. <laughs> I just can't even believe that with no concealer already. That's a huge difference. Also, I wanna state that they actually have two palettes before I forget. This is Harmony One, and I don't have two, but two has even deeper shades. So they just sent me the product for my own shades, and they kinda of shade match me, you know, what would work for me. But they also have a two. So if you are deeper in skin tone, they got you. So now we're gonna work on some of this hyperpigmentation right here and just do some spot concealing. I'm gonna go in with a little bit deeper of a hue just to start getting these areas. And I feel like I might just start getting obsessed with spot concealing because this is honestly so quick and fast. And this is just going to help give that extra conceal because I know a lot of people kind of tend to 
like steer away from tinted moisturizer. So you have hyperpigmentation right here. And I totally get it because your imperfections pop out. But don't forget, you can always spot conceal. The thing that scares me is whenever you see palettes like this, you think automatically thick conceal. But this is much more thin than I thought. And it's also buildable with this palette. Again, Makeup Forever is a professional brand, so it's not that I thought, oh, the brand isn't good. It's just that I don't really conceal too much, so I always think, oh my gosh, layers, 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 creasing, creasing. It's gonna look cakey, but not necessarily. Like, I'm barely dipping into the palette to conceal these areas. I'm actually going to help brighten around my mouth area because sometimes I tend to get shadows in this area as well. Another area, darkness, usually hides right in here right? This brush is really good. We're just going to start placing that right in here to take away those shadows. I will also conceal my eye once I start playing around with the palette. I need to stop being so lazy with this because this was so easy. Now I feel like I'm officially ready for this tinted moisturizer. I have the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer, and this is a natural skin illuminator. Again, because it's natural, that's why I wanted to conceal underneath, and it has an SPF of 25. I do have oily T-zone and normal all around. Lately, I've kind of been like oily T-zone and dryish around. So I'm gonna take this right onto the back of my hand. Here is the shade Sand. Let's see if this is a good match. I'm gonna take my multitask brush from Sigma and then just start pushing this in. I really like this brush. It's just very soft. It's great for contour. It's great for basically any cream product. You can't go wrong. I feel like you can also use this for cream blush if you really wanted to. Okay, this is gonna be a good match. I actually ended up self tanning the other day. I feel like you can't tell, but I swear I did. And even though I didn't layer too much of the corrector, you can already just see how it's hiding a lot of my hyperpigmentation. So again, just a little goes a long way. If you wanna add a little bit more, then definitely do so. I love using this brush just because it has this really nice angle on the forehead because it's just so perfect. Like. It's almost like you're painting on your face. It just feels so smooth. It's a very glowy product, very natural. You don't see my hyperpigmentation popping out a ton. I can always layer a little bit more corrector. Now, if you're someone where you think, oh my gosh, I can never wear tinted moisturizer or like a BB cream or anything, like I have too many problematic areas or I have one area that makes me uncomfortable, you know what? Try spot concealing, I'm telling you. Look how much it just brightened everything up because sometimes it does bother me when my hyperpigmentation does come out. That's why recently I'm like, oh, I think I'm getting a little uncomfortable with it. You know, I just wanna make sure it looks really nice and more of like an even complexion. So I'm gonna let this marinade and we're gonna go into the eyes. I already did my concealer and set it. And I have this new Urban Decay Naked Palette. It looks very cute with like all the little smiley faces. This one is called Mucho Happy and I always wanna be Mucho Happy. So here are the shades. Has like a really fun blue, a yellow, some bronzy tones, you know, something nice and simple. So I'm gonna go straight into this cream and I'm gonna place it right on the eyes. A peachy tone, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, very nice and natural, but still pigmented enough where it's pulling on my eye, which is great. A little bit of this yellow. Ooh, that looks so fun. And let's put that on the outside. Blend that cream back into the yellow. Should we try like one of the shimmers? Maybe we'll try a shimmer instead of that cream. Let's put the bronze all over and then we'll pull in that yellow. Blended out that yellow and I have the bronze on the lid. I think it's just bringing out some really nice vibrancy and then I just put a brown wing with some mascara. My wing liner is from L'Oreal, super affordable and it's brown, just like more on the soft side. Really enjoying this yellow and I'm not one where I've been wearing yellow so now this is like bringing the zzz, the bee in me. Now we're gonna contour. I'm gonna use this palette again. Um, I'm obviously gonna use these two shades. I'm gonna go in with the lighter one. Ooh, this is Okay, also, I'm someone where, I guess you can say I'm a bronzer, not a contourer, uh, because I like warmer shades. I'm going to contour my nose today, which I never do. I'm gonna use my multitask brush again, because obviously it can multitask. And look how fast that blended out. Look at that. So like for like a really nice natural contour bronze. Look at that, really nice and natural. Let's get underneath the jaw go for the darker shade. Okay, that one is pretty warm too. I know a lot of people don't like warmer tones, but I definitely do. And then we're gonna move into a new concealer, which I'm so excited about. It's from It Cosmetics. 
It is called the Bye Bye Dark Spots Corrector and Serum. So there's 2% niacinamide. I wanna see if this is gonna be like full coverage or not, but at least I have that corrector underneath to help. Okay, I'm really enjoying this natural contour just because the rest of the face is pretty natural. I have the shade Light Warm and also Light Neutral, but I think I'm gonna go for Warm. Light Neutral looks a little bit too light for me. So there is a brush at the end. I'm going to place this. Let's see what this feels like. It's more on the thin side, I think, because it is a serum concealer. Oh, I like it. I don't know. I'm just like playing around with it. <laughs> I'm just like, boop, 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 boop. it may look like a lot, but this formula is very thin. I have the soft blend conceal. Okay, I will say this is definitely a more natural conceal, but I think because I corrected underneath my eyes, it really helped. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this palette, but just seeing how that little bit of correction has really brightened up my face because I know what my face looks like, obviously. I see it every single day. So when I do more natural looks, it definitely doesn't look as like flawless as this. So we're gonna go into the blush because I'm very curious on this, on these shades, if they're very pigmented or not. So we're gonna go in with this one. Let's see, it's like a nice coral shade. And this one looks more like on the pinky, pinky shade right here. I feel like the coral is going to do good. Blend Kabuki. So I'm just going to start pushing this product in. Ooh, it is very natural looking. I want to place it with my finger. If you feel this, the formula is so thin. All the products I have on right now, it feels like air, like nothing. <gasps> that is like the softest sweet blush because I feel like I'm someone where I really put on a lot of blush but I'm a blush person. It's just something about me that I love. I don't mind if I over blush. We all have our own like likes and styles, but this light blush style definitely is up there because it's a nice change because I'm sure you guys see me pile it on all the time. <laughs> all of you are like, yes, Lizzie, keep this style. This is it. Mm -hmm. Looks the best. Okay, okay. I think this palette is definitely worth it because it is pricey. But you got your concealers, your correctors. Now you have blushes and contours all in cream. And cream is it right now. And and it cream just looks so effortless. I, McDonald's. I'm loving it. <laughs> By the way, I really want to try that Strawberry Shortcake McFlurry before they get rid of it. And hopefully the ice cream machine is not dead. So we're going to do a little contour of the nose. I'm going to use this right here with this little small brush. This is the Precision Firm Blender. Now this is a warmer product, so I'm not gonna put too much, just very, very little. See, it's pretty warm. But like I said, I do like warm, but I've been trying to use cooler tones for my nose. It is on the warm side, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the other concealer shade. This one's in light neutral, and I'm gonna use this one to bring it down my nose just because it's gonna help brighten and is on the lighter side, right down here. And it is nice and light. See, that's pretty. That's pretty light. This shade is perfect to help my contour pop, but still look natural. Look at that. And then we're just gonna add a little to the tip right here. I mean, it does look more on the sun-kissed side, but that's okay. Just looking at the concealer, it looks very hydrating. It didn't go on my fine lines. So now I'm just gonna set it. I'm just using the Huda Beauty Powder in Banana just to do a light set and it looks beautiful, it doesn't look heavy, and I really think with that color correcting, it helped a ton. You know how sometimes you put on concealer and you're like, oh, let me put more, oh, just a little bit more, and it get, starts getting cakey and cakey and cakey, and you still have those hues popping out? It's because we need to color correct. We need to correct those dark areas, and man, I'm seeing a world of a difference just right here, because I'm someone where I'm like, let me just go a second round on that concealer, but for right now, I don't need it, and I didn't even use that much concealer, and it's also a serum concealer, so that's not screaming full coverage, is it? No, it's not. So this one, ooh, I am very happy. I have an old NARS palette that I'm gonna take this orangey sort of coral blush that matches, because it's not overly pigmented, it's still gonna keep that soft focus look, because I'm touching my cheeks, and it's definitely something that needs to be set, so just make sure you set it. That's all I wanted to say. So I'm gonna set my entire face. Uh, but I have a new powder, and this is from Laura Mercier. And I just have the shade Translucent. So this one's the Real Flawless Luminous Perfecting Pe 
pressed powder. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to do a little swatch because, oh, I don't know. Maybe, ooh, let's see. Hold on. It looks like it has some glow to it, which isn't a bad thing because we have the moisture. Okay, it has like a nice satin finish. You know what? I'm just going to use the brush I use for my translucent powder above just because it's not too dense. And let's just do a nice swipe across and start pushing. Just a swipe. Okay, so this is definitely giving that glowy finish, but it almost looks like a glowy satin finish. You can set those creams since it is translucent. I do know that this comes in four shades and this was actually like the second shade, I believe. I think the first one was even lighter. I don't know, but it's not taking away the color from my face, so that's good. So it's basically like a satin finish with a little glow. Okay, so now onto the lippy. I have the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream, and this one's in the shade Negroni. Also, the Full On Plumping Lip Polish. Let's do it oh, down here. Oh, that's like a pretty like mauve rose. Definitely on the gloss side, so maybe I'll use the cream. So here's the cream in the shade Negroni. Oh, this one feels like a gloss too though. Right there, they're both glosses. They're not necessarily like different in my opinion. Powerline Plumping Lip Liner. This one's in the shade Savvy Sienna. So let's try it out. It's in the shape of a teardrop. <laughs> you know what I was gonna say? Put like a little teardrop like smile now, cry later. <laughs> The stuff that goes through my head. So now I'm just gonna take this and just line my lips. Oh, I actually like this shape. I was like a teardrop because I went down like this and like it literally curved with my lip so easy. I didn't think I was gonna like the shape because I was like, I'm so used to just like a regular point. So in with the lip cream. This is really pretty though. I don't know about with the yellow, what do you think? But I'm very confused on the cream and on the lip polish. I'm gonna say that this was definitely the star of the show because this made me feel like I was a pro at color correcting, a pro at spot concealing. Just doing these little areas has helped so much. And it also reminded me, stop putting so many damn layers of concealer underneath the eyes and correct that baby and then put on your concealer. Absolutely in love today. I'm very happy with today's try, try on with all these products. I'm gonna get going. I hope you enjoyed. I'll link everything down below and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.